Allegations have come out detailing disgusting, vile and illegal things the animation YouTuber Major Klug has done in regards to numerous minors, but one specific allegation I want to cover today is one far worse than most people realise. With concrete proof, cohesive Google documents and videos of the Discord chat logs presented, the strong allegations show that according to this situation, Major Klug from the ages of 16 years old, starting on May the 8th, 2019, up to November 7th, 2020, which which was two months away from his 18th birthday, was dating, grooming, and predating on an 11 year old up to their almost 13th birthday, meaning the age gap was almost 5 years, being in actuality 4 years and 11 months. In this alleged situation, Major Klug engaged in erotic role-playing sessions with them, commonly known as ERPing, was a self-admitted pedophile, made a plethora of alarming gross messages to them, showed an obvious attraction to them and interest, and allegedly solicited illegal explicit images from them and much more. Madison originally came out a few days ago with her situation being publicized on a YouTuber named Soft and Nico's video, corroborated with her document in which I will be linking in the description, in which she went over in the video in which has all the information, links, and screenshots provided. To quickly prove how this account featured in the document is in fact Major Klug, his Discord account is simply called Gary with the tag Gary the Gleeful. Now while Major Klug was 16 in 2019 in a relationship with an 11 year old minor at the time named Madison, Klug decided to post a rendition of a short animation video he had made expressing his affection to the minor, with the song Happy Together playing in the background. The card he showed in the private animation video to the minor showed the first sonar of the minor at the time, when the lyrics quote unquote, I can't see me loving nobody but you was playing in the background. Now if you focus on the dates too, this rendition of the animation was posted to the minor on the 26th of April. Major Klug then proceeded to post another rendition of this animation video to his main channel, with a video titled I'm Back on May the 2nd 2019, this time with the miner's fursona taken off, replaced with the yellow card being flipped simply to the texture stating you. With him then stating in the description, quote unquote, made this for someone and decided to upload it. Because you see, Major Klug purposely decided to keep this person anonymous because if people realized that Major Klug was out here publicly expressing affection to a minor five years younger than him, he'd be facing a lot of justified pushback and criticism and this was something he evidently feared. Not to mention, in video recordings Madison provided, it clearly shows the chat logs with Major Klug, and it even shows a tag of the account showing how it was indeed Gary the Gleeful, the same account that Klug operates in his own Discord server, as corroborated by the YouTuber Buttergo. And also, this exact same Discord account released an audio recording of themselves, and it obviously sounds exactly like Major Klug does. If we go to Klug's Discord server, type in the search bar to search for users Gary the Gleeful, you should see all of his messages. I know these are his messages because it was the username present in Holly's video. However, if you need further confirmation, if you jump to page 33, make sure it's set from newest to oldest. Once you scroll around a bit, you should see an audio clip. <laughs> skippity toilet. <laughs> If you listen to the audio click, this is clearly Klug's voice, so yeah, this account does belong to Klug. But if you want even more proof that this account is him, the art style of this account that Madison claims to be Major Klug has the exact same as Klug himself, drawing sexualized images of the miner's fursona, in which I will cover in more detail later on. Now onto the relationship. Madison shares the context behind her traumatic and troubling childhood in the document and in Soph's video and shares how in early 2019, before they started a relationship, they started to share their personal troubles with Klug, and they also continued it throughout the relationship. Now, Klug at the time obviously engaged in a conversation, and knew about the trouble and unstable environment that Madison was going through, spanning from family dysfunction and troubles, to other people taking advantage of her in the past. And Klug attempted to empathize with her, formulating a relationship and bond with the minor, who was significantly younger than him, the minor at the time not knowing that this was the first step of Klug eventually taking advantage of her, basically trusted and depended on Klug as a close friend and almost guardian figure of hers, who she could possibly vent all of her problems to. In the earlier DM exchanges of these messages, it was evident Klug was attempting to stem a relationship by showering Madison with affection numerous times. Keep in mind she was 11 years of age and he was 16. Klug basically sent messages stating how much he loved her, stated, licks you and cuddles, I love you so freaking much too. And another message, I'm positive I love you more than you love me. 
in another message. Hmm, I love you more. Snugs, I love you. Snugs, I love you too. Oh, I love you so freaking much. I love you. I'd be bawling my eyes out if I never got to see you again. I love literally everything about you. I love you so much. Fur ooh woo. Snugs, ooh, I love you too. Good night, I love you. I mean, it's pretty evident with the sheer amount of DMs Klug allegedly sent to this 11 year old minor about how much he truly loved them that this wasn't just some sick, twisted attempt at trying to lead them on, and he can't use the excuse that it was some sick, sadistic joke. It was evident that he was attempting to get in a relationship with them by trying to create some cohesive parasocial bond with the impressionable and easily manipulated child, completely negating the age gap dynamic and power dynamic in this given situation. Major Klug was setting the very first pieces of framework to obvious grooming here. Major Klug had had his intentions set very early into meeting this minor, and with the minor being completely oblivious to what was transpiring and being laid out, it was only going to get much worse from here. Now marking just over a week after making the infamous animation dedicated for the minor that we covered earlier, they both started dating each other on May the 8th, 2019. And not even a month later, very early on into the relationship, Major Klug unsurprisingly starts making the conversation turn sexual, with Log showing himself literally admitting to have engaged in ERPing sessions with the 11 year old minor when he was 16 years of age himself. The document created by Madison also corroborated this situation, also adding on how Major Klug would provide her with affection, calls, paragraphs, and more, but it was obvious what Major Klug was attempting to gain out of this situation, as it would divulge into even worse later. Screenshots provided in another document show Major Klug ramping up the sexual nature of his conversations with the minor, and once again keep in mind, Klug was almost exactly 5 years older than them, and as I'll show later on in the video, he absolutely knew her age. His intent was evident and he was well aware of his immoral actions, yet he continued. Major Klug went ahead and normalized sexual ERPing with the minor. He stated, Ye, ooh, promise to give suck after and I'll do it now. Then in another message, no suck equal no frick. JK, I'll probably do it anyway. And in another message here, pins you down. And in another one here, I'm really freaking hard right now, ooh, ooh. And as you can see from all these DM exchanges, Major Klug admitted in his own words that he was getting sexual satisfaction from participating in these conversations with this minor. And if you're wondering why some of the miners DMs have been obfuscated and blurred in these subsequent screenshots I'll be showing in the video, they explain in the document how she does not wish to see or be reminded of her past messages as they make her feel sick. The ERP DMs continue with these message logs showing Klug telling the miner to get on the bed, with the miner being reluctant at first, and then Klug saying, well no pee pee for you then. Eventually the miner changes their mind and Klug goes completely mask off and sends an absolutely disgusting unhinged ERP DM about the 11 year old. Keep in mind, he is 16 years of age when he sent that. In another screenshot, you can see Major Klug showing a rendition of his character sitting down with him having a stiffy, showing allegedly the movement he wishes the child to perform on him while engaging in intercourse. Another screenshot shows message logs of Klug posting a cropped drawing of himself having intercourse with the miner's fursona, and then saying nuzzles to the miner. As the screenshots also illustrate too, Major Klug would continue to establish how happy the miner made him feel, and how much they meant to him, while also stating he will love them forever and will snuggle with them forever. Once again, trying to give the impression to the miner that he's there to support them, and showering them with affection once again. Now as 2020 rolled on, Major Klug was being confronted with dating Madison, with Klug being two days from being 17 and Madison just having turned 12 years old. The problem for Klug was that Madison had told people her age in the past, and Major Klug was scared of people knowing the age gap dynamic as it looked extremely bad for him. Because messages from December of 2019 show Klug being fully aware that him dating someone considerably younger than himself was illegal and that he could go to jail for it, which he doesn't want to happen to himself. And in another message he complains about Rune, who is someone else, knowing how much older he is than Madison, yet puts much older in quotations as if he's somehow denying how large the age gap dynamic is. Like, yeah buddy, you're almost five years older than her. It's a massive age gap. Now, the user Rune, who I've just spoke about, consulted him about Madison's age on the 1st of January 2020, as Madison had told them that they were 12 prior. Kluge shows the screenshots to Madison, showing Rune pressing him more on the age dynamic of their relationship, with Kluge evidently being seen attempting to gaslight and manipulate 
translate Rune into thinking it wasn't happening, when in actuality it was. And as you can see, the conversations transpired at 11pm, almost 12pm, on January the 1st. By the messages of Klug to Madison, it was clear that he was afraid of Rune knowing about the relationship and exposing him for it, and even stated this message in which will probably go down as one of the worst Discord DMs of all time, with Klug stating, Ooh, ooh if I go to jail, I will still love you. Now, the following day on January the 2nd, when Klug received no response from Madison, he simply stated wake, with then Madison replying, stating how they are now up, and are now being informed of the situation, in which deep down they knew would happen all along. The situation essentially scared Madison, as she didn't want people to find out about the age gap dynamic at the time, because that would mean Klug would have to break the relationship with them due to the subsequent backlash, and Klug was one of the only people who Madison was really speaking to at the time, so she didn't want that to happen. Kluke proceeded to play down the situation and assured Madison that it would be fine by showing more message logs with Rune dated just before 11pm the previous day on January the 1st, and stated how he was gaslighting Rune into thinking that the miner had actually lied about being 12 to them and was just being trolled because they both collectively disliked them. This proves that Klug is willing to lie and deceive others, as long as that means he's able to get away with what he wants. You see, Madison never actually lied to Klug about his age. Klug was fully aware of how old Madison was. But a friend of his had also lied, stating that I quote-unquote lied about my age to Ryan. This is false. Ryan lied to others about my age to cover up our relationship, and so I began to do so as well. But anyway, this then led to Clue confronting Madison about why she ever stated her actual age to people, with the minor questioning the legality of their relationship. Clue simply replied that he didn't know if it was illegal, implying that he knew the probable immorality of the situation, and if you are at the point where you're questioning the legality of a relationship you're in, I think you need to rethink your entire situation, especially considering the almost five year age gap he had with her. Now, Klug even states that he hopes he won't have to leave the minor too when he turns 18 years of age, in which she would be 13 then. He stated that if they were still in the relationship when he's 18 and she's 13, that it would be illegal, however the message right above that states that he hopes that he wouldn't have to break up with her, obviously showing his intent of engaging in a reprehensible twisted relationship, despite knowing he's breaking obvious moral boundaries and laws. He evidently voiced that his problem was people knowing about his age, hinting that if his age was kept a secret, it'd be easier for him to continue the relationship and less people would be looking into him. This scared Madison at the time who has been heavily dependent and reliant on Klug to speak to and socialize with as she barely had any other friends at the time, because she didn't want Klug to leave her. Klug then replied how he won't leave her and that he loves her, followed by him stating he doesn't know what he will do regarding the relationship when he turns 18, but assures her that he will not break up for the meantime, with him then changing his mind later on in the messages, then stating how he is certain he won't break up with them when the time comes. What's even more sinister here is it seems that Kluke has weaponized the relationship and skewed his influence over the impressionable miner here to pressure the miner into being more secluded and silent from the truth to the point where she's almost wholly reliant on him and eventually got her to stop revealing her age publicly to ensure that no one else knows about the age gap dynamic except themselves. Once the miner ensured that they will stop being public about their age and speaking to people about it, Klug gets very happy regarding this news and once again states how he loves her. Klug continues later in August of 2020 by stating how he is paranoid and anxious of more people knowing as only close friends know about the situation currently. However, he is scared of it all coming out, but he reaffirms to the miner at the time that he will not be leaving them and he will think of something to deal with the situation. He states here, Umu, I'm not, I'll think of something. Umu, I'm not gonna leave, that's for sure. Umu, I'll stay with you until the police mother frickin' force us apart, baby. And then he states in another message here, Umu, I don't wanna weave. And and then Madison here states, Umo, I don't want the police to break us up. And then Major Klug states in reply, me neither. Like, I just cannot stress how bad these DMs are for Klug and his reputation, and I can't believe how much worse the relationship actually got. Klug has quite literally been shown here, knowing the age of the minor, yet being complicit in continuing the relationship. Klug has also been seen here showing obvious guilt due to how it could be perceived in the court of public opinion and in the eyes of the law, yet stated how he will still stay with the minor through 
through everything, up until the point where the police would have to quite literally force them apart in his own words, which is extremely creepy and deplorable statements, when considering that this is a 17 year old with a 12 year old, collectively this just makes him look terrible. Now as a relationship progressed, Madison also expressed in her document that fights started to break out, not aided by the quarantine that was going on at the time. However, the relationship still continued as she felt validated from someone who she looked up to as a parental figure, being Major Klug, and Klug himself continued so he could keep deriving sick pleasure which he was gaining from interacting with the minor at the time. He knew it was wrong and it could get him in massive trouble, yet he still continued. Madison states how the only time Klug would actually interact with her was for sexual exchanges and it got significantly worse as highlighted by them in this document. In another document created by them, Madison shows how Klug would create sexualized depictions of the minor's persona, such as in August 2019, showing himself engaging in specific acts with the minor's persona. In October of 2019, Klug also stated how he's a quote-unquote lepedo, literally self-admitting about his attraction to prepubescent girls, and then stating how he has quote-unquote nasty things things in his notebook in which he ends up showing to the minor, which are drawings of gross depictions that Klug allegedly made of the minor's fursona, which are very reminiscent of the actual Major Klug's art style. It shows her fursona drawn as an obvious child, so basically Cub NSFW, and he drew numerous renditions of her OC. And the reason why I know this is her OC or original creation is because later on she shows Major Klug NSFW of her own character, and you can see the black crown on her head. This same black crown is seen in his Cub NSFW drawings in his notepad. Also, the character as well bears the same color seen in the Major Klug edit he made specifically for the minor too. So it was obvious whose character this was based off of because he was literally showing her renditions of the art he did for her. Also, Madison himself literally stated how this art was based off her own character in her own words. It's extremely creepy how he made the images based off the body structure of a child who he literally received pictures from too because he made the NSFW artwork of the fursona as childlike as possible. Another image shows Klug walking away after having done something to the rear end of Madison's fursona as it was trapped in what seems to be a washing machine with the text Lucky with an arrow next to it. Now Klug also has had several sexual calls with the minor too, with logs proving how these such situations did transpire, with Klug probably getting Madison to do a plethora of vile things to satisfy his sick needs, with Madison stating that they would do many sexual things together with him obviously backtracking and pretending that he didn't want the minor to do anything they don't want to do, pretending to make it look like he's considerate of the minor's wishes and giving them free will. When we all know from these alleged message logs, he is a textbook groomer and is evidently taking advantage of them for his own personal gain. But if you didn't think that it could get any worse in this situation, Major Klug was allegedly soliciting numerous instances of illegal explicit material from this minor when they were about 12 years of age, Klug being 17. At the time, and he made comments about the size of the minors, you know what, basically saying how they're the smallest he's ever seen, calling them cute, and how he looks at them every hour, which is absolutely putrid to even go over. Two months later in May, Madison makes a comment that Klug made an emoji of her breast, which would be classified as CP, meaning Klug is in possession of the images too, otherwise, how else could he have made the emoji of it? Klug, seeing this, asks if the person Madison told this to believes that it's a joke, with Madison stating probably and Klug being relieved. Madison asks why it's so bad with the other person knowing and Klug states it's extremely bad because it's CP and then tries to change the topic of the conversation by stating he's horny again. However, he quickly responds to Madison's remark where she stated that Hannah, the person she told this to, wouldn't care about the situation by stating they absolutely would and he doesn't want anyone knowing he has illegal material of her, once again alluding to the fact that he has possession of the content. Also stating how he could go to jail for it, obviously being fully aware he's committing a crime, yet still continuing his disgusting path of degeneracy. In other instances, such as June 2020, he states how he's horny once again and tries to solicit CP from the 12 year old when he is 17, by asking for pictures of her you know what. He tries to play it off as some kind of elaborate joke to try and make it less awkward and gross, when it's obvious what his intent is because he has done this numerous times before, and when Madison states in this situation no, he simply stated in reply, I was joking anyway, unless, you know, dot dot dot. 
Another instance comes in a month later in July when he once again asks for more illegal pictures and Madison states later, with Klug being very happy about this news, with then Madison stating she's joking and then calls him seemingly as a joke a pervert for it. And if you think it cannot possibly get even worse than it is right now, Major Klug had obvious intent to want to meet up with this minor and do something with them, with them stating, ooh, ooh I want to freak you IRL so bad, and in another message here, let me freak you IRL. Uwu. More DMs show Madison stating Klug did specific things to images of her, followed by more messages including Klug stating it would be a while before they intend to meet up. However, when Madison states that when she turns 16 they should spend time together in a hotel, obviously we would all know what would have transpired there behind the scenes, he replies with maybe, and then with a solid yes. Keep in mind, if this were to take place, Klug would be 21 years of age and Madison would be 16, about how old she is now. More messages had shown Klug in 2019 when Madison was 11, stating, I want to. Honestly, Uwu, the first thing I would do when I meet you IRL would be to snug you. The second thing I would do would be to find a good place where I could freak you. Followed by another message of Klug allegedly stating, that's what pedos would like. Small, Uwu. If we were together right now, would you let me freak though? Now, if this message isn't the most obvious self-admission when he is speaking about what pedophiles like, then I don't know what is. Considering he literally solicited and possessed, allegedly, CP of a 12 year old, drew sexualized art of her fursona, made remarks about how cute they were and how he wanted to do things to them and even more. With all of this, I collectively have no idea how anyone can defend this guy whatsoever. He was only interested in messaging Madison for sexual reasons according to Madison's document and always complained about filler messages that weren't satisfying him whatsoever. This guy is the absolute definition of an alleged groomer according to all this information. And there is even videos of Madison going over the chat logs and proving how the account which sent these messages to her goes by the tag of Gary the Gleeful, which is literally Major Klug's tag which he has in his Discord server. The inappropriate exchanges continued as well until the relationship broke off in November the 7th of 2020, months before his 18th birthday and just before Madison's 13th birthday. In a message sent on that day, he establishes how he doesn't want to break up but he has to, as if he continues the relationship up to the 18th birthday of his, it would jeopardize his future and would lead to possible legal problems and him going to the slammer, also known as jail. Madison, after having barely anyone else to speak to or consult with as she was going through even more family struggles at the time, begs him to stay so they could be in a relationship still for a little longer. However, Klug states he simply can't. Madison asks Klug if he is willing to wait for her to turn 18 and then Klug states yes, and that he will be there for her when it's her birthday in six years. He later continues to support the idea that he will wait for her to be 18 stating as long as she is fine with it, he is too, being completely honest with his intentions here. However, two weeks later, Major Klug comes to his senses and changes his mind, as he states he doesn't want to wait anymore as he's just realized how gross his interactions with the minor have been for all of this time. However, it's a little too late for that now. However, another reason he listed here was because he fears that he would lose interest in Madison too, and he is not making a promise he cannot keep. Later on in 2020, Klug shows fear in the minor and what they could do to him, if they release all the information against him. He is terrified about what would happen to his reputation and image online, stating how Madison makes him feel sick and how they want to die, telling her that she scares him and that she should just release it already. Madison and Klug continue to have an argument with Klug worried about what Madison is stating about him to other people, with Madison stating how him breaking up with her ruined her life, and Klug stating that she will ruin his with all the evidence she has stacked up against him. As attentions rose, Klug's friends also proceeded proceeded to make fun of the minor too, according to her own testimony and archive screenshots. At the start of the year in January 2021, Madison also stated how she notified people that she had sent Klug nudes of herself, with Klug being evidently stressed out and urging her to remove the messages. Now it wasn't until the 29th of January 2023 that Madison managed to get in contact with Major Klug again after everything had blown over and talked about the situation with him in private DMs, with Major Klug stating, It's all good, it's not like I didn't 
have my bucket full of thoughts either. Very occasionally, I will have a thought relating to the stuff in the past and I'll cringe so hard. I'm actively being as vague as possible just to not have to remember all the horrible things that I have done. But honestly, a lot of this crap is on me, as you are young and definitely shouldn't have had to deal with the issues and problems that you went through because of me. And I owe you a much bigger apology and quite frankly, a simple apology wouldn't cut it. I should have handled things so much better and it's not your fault that you acted the way you did. You couldn't have known better, but I don't really have an excuse for acting dumb, lol. I can only hope that now you're doing well and that I haven't mentally scarred you in any type of way. So here we can see that Major Klug actually admitted what he did was extremely disgusting, foul and wrong after he looks back on everything, to the point where he doesn't even want to think about what fully transpired anymore because of how bad his actions were. And if you want more proof that this is actually Major Klug, the tag right under his name literally states Le Klug, and in another separate situation regarding a different miner who released a YouTube video, they literally show in that video Klug's close ex-friend leaking message logs from the exact same account, once again showing how it was indeed Major Klug's. Now Madison has also made it clear that they are in a much better mindset than they were three years ago, and how she wished to release all of this proof as a form of closure for herself regarding this situation. So here's a clip of what she actually has to say about this situation. I'm doing a lot better than I was doing three years ago. I've made a lot of good friends who within recent months I've been able to open up to and who have helped me feel confident enough to say something. I'm currently in therapy as of recent for being treated for PTSD symptoms and other things. I don't know where I'd be without my friends and I truly mean that and I appreciate every single one of them. Outside of wanting to protect others and wanting to share my story, I'm also mainly doing this for myself. For years I've had this unhealthy attachment to Ryan because of what he did to me and I've been afraid to say something, again out of fear for everything I've said above. I want to finally ride myself, rid myself the burden so I am able to let go of him and what happened and to give myself a form of closure to everything. I have spent the past three years of my life trying my hardest to move on and I do not want to be known as a quote unquote victim. I hope I've answered any questions with this document. Thank you for reading and if you have any further questions my username is hot garbage on both Instagram and Discord. I do not normally reply to messages quickly. Now, Major Kluke has still refused to make any public comment about these allegations and is relatively inactive on his YouTube channel, with his last video being made months ago and his last sign of activity on his channel being a community post from over a month ago. Currently, he is bleeding thousands of subscribers as more people start to discuss and cover his horrible allegations. And on Twitter, memes are starting to be made such as, so this is where Major Klug lives, with tweets getting tens of thousands of likes covering this situation. So as the pressure increases against Major Klug, time will only tell whether he actually addresses the situation. Now anyway, thank you all for watching. Please make sure to leave a like and share this video around the community to as many people as possible, so more people can be warned of Major Klug's actions and know the truth regarding the entire situation. And obviously this video is not intended for hate, harassment or cyberbullying, this is just an educational and informative video going over the entire situation as a whole. And to any last defender which attempts to legitimize the age gap and absolve Major Klug of his pedophilic actions, despite the fact the age gap was quite literally 16 days away from being exactly 5 years, and also despite the fact that his actions very closely meet the actual legal definition for pedophilia, I'll just let Major Klug's own words play against him to end off this video. In my opinion, it doesn't matter how old you are, if you do something stupid and notable, then fuck it, you have to deal with the consequences.